Greetings Commanders. Welcome to No Hug for Bug Gaming. No Hug for Bug. This is Commander Cyrex Fett, and in this series, we will explore the galaxy to find exobiologic life, geologic phenomenon and dark anomalies of Elite Dangerous Galaxy. In this episode we will learn the elements of exploration, choose and build our ship, prepare our materials and decide a destination for our road trip. Let's begin. Exobiology is sampling the organic life varieties of the galaxy with the Artemis Suits genetic sampler tool and collect the data to our SRV. The findings will be updated on our Codex tab and you can sell this data to Vista Genomics to earn rank and credits. Geologic phenomenon and anomalies are also updated in the Codex but they have a different style of discovery. Our aim is to discover them all in our part of the galaxy which is Inner Orion Spur and then move on to the other parts. So let's choose and build our ship. Any ship with a good jump range and sufficient amount of optional space will do and you don't have to engineer any of them, but I strongly advise you engineer the frame shift drive with 5th grade increased range with mass manager mod. Here's my 3 favorite ships for the job. In the third place we have ASP Explorer. Promises great value for its price and a perfect choice for new commanders with budget concerns. She deserves every credit you spend on it, she can easily achieve 45 light years of jump range for 60 million credits without any engineering. Our second ship is the mighty Anaconda. One of the coolest ships of the galaxy, with solid jump range and has space to pack everything you got, she is basically a small sized space station. She is expensive and relatively slow but definitely perfect for exploration. A jump range around 40 is the starting point for half a billion credits without engineering. And with engineering you can easily achieve 65 and more. And the first place, my favorite ship. Falcon de Lacy, bridging the stars for half a millennium. The Phantom, we will start with this medium sized beauty and after a while we will continue with different ships. Phantom is agile, fast, has great range and have lots of room for everything you need. We will get into the details in outfitting. You can find all the suggested builds in the description. Please write down your suggested builds and comments for the journey. Now, let's build our ship. We will not use any hard points to be light, and we will rely on our great plan for the threats. Escape from it. We will not use any utility mounts also since we don't want extra weight. For the core internals, you can equip D-type modules to be light, or A-type small modules. FSD range and power sufficiency is the key for the core. You can always shut down your unused modules and activate when using them. Managing the power this way will make your life easier. Optionals are what matters most. Definitely we need the biggest fuel scoop and biggest Guardian FSD booster. A good AFM to repair our modules, which I use two small ones so they can repair each other. Two SRVs in case we destroy one of them. Repair limpet controller and cargo rack for the limpets for hull repair and a DSS for probing the planets. Where we are going, there is no civilization. So, we have to be self-sufficient and able to synthesize the five most important material for our ship. Life support to get more time go back to civilization if you are in serious trouble. AFM refill so you can replenish your module repair capability when they are finished. Limpet, in case you are out of limpets to repair your hull. SRV repair, the faster you go that rocks on the planet will wear out your SRV. And SRV fuel. You really have to take care of your SRV because the exobiology data is stored in it. If the SRV or the ship is destroyed, that data is lost. So, we have built our ship. We have an idea about what to do and how to do it. We set our goals. Now we have to decide where to go. There are endless possibilities for the trip, so let's decide the destination together. Please write down your destination suggestions on the comments section and please vote for the poll. The next episode will begin with the Neutron Highway Road Trip for the destination we have decided. That's it for now. 
Thank you for watching and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe and like button. That matters a lot. See you in the next episode. I think I might request some leave and go explore the galaxy. Thank you for choosing our station, Commander.